sun rolling over, acres of farmland shining the light on the world. I grew up in no name, dirt roads about to get torn up, all going down in a town you never heard of. Hey everybody, welcome to the Common Folk Podcast with Ben, Morgan, and Andy. Welcome to the Common Folk Podcast. A very merry Common Folk Podcast, right? Yeah, that's right, man. We're almost there. That introduction was good. Yeah. I like the energy. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of went low, too. That's all I, that's all I had. I'm spent now. <laughs> okay. Well, all welcome. Right. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Yes. We're out. <laughs> Let's Peace. see. What, what day is it? We're four days. Yeah. Yeah. As we're recording right now before. And I'll get this one cut up and. Edited. And we'll get it out tomorrow. Get her out real quick. Okay. Thursday. We'll, we'll Good drop thing it Thursday for you. Morning. Yeah. yeah. We're uh, finally getting our uh, our our first real weather event of the year. I was going to say this is so fitting because looking out the window, snow is falling. It's a pretty snow, mm-hmm. slow, big flakes. Yeah. So they're predicting lots of snow. Is this everywhere or just? In the Midwest. You know, I think it's going to be a little, like the brunt of it's going to be a little bit to the east of us. I think oh. Iowa's going to get hit way harder than Nebraska. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, so, you know about my new gig? I'm helping out the company as a whole. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, I've been getting up at 4, 4.30 in the morning and running down to Nebraska City to do the morning show mm. on our uh, country oh, okay. music station down there. Is that why you look so tired? Yes. I, I'm kidding. No, I did not, I, I, <laughs> could not I'm like tell sleep de- de- deprived, but I'm jolly. I'm like on a, a runner's high or yeah. something like that. Yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> I don't know where I am, <laughs> but, uh, no, but it's been good. It's been fun. Um, but that's the big thing is like every half hour I got to do these weather hits and s- starting yesterday, it's, everybody's been in a tizzy over it. Mm-hmm. And my report's like, well, um, it could happen. It's going to get cold yeah. and there's, it's going to be windy with a chance of snow. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> so you're a meteorologist. <laughs> meteorologist. Too? What's, so who's feeding you the uh, weather data? AccuWeather forecast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get, um, so I get it from the news channel in Nebraska newsroom. Yeah. So I'm constantly getting new updates and, mm-hmm. uh, they're always, well, it was going to be something, and it still might be something. <laughs> well, just like earlier, it was supposed to be noon. Now it's like past noon, exactly. and it's barely starting. You know, yep. you never know. Yep. So, so yeah, don't. I, I just make the plea to everyone: don't kill the messenger. I'm just reading the information put in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, we won't hurt you. Either way, it kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I mean, snow is fun, but not it. the nasty cold that's coming. Like right. the negative feels like 40 below the wind is the problem like we'll yep. be we'll be below zero straight temp mm-hmm. but then the wind will take it down another 20 25 oh, yeah. degrees yeah feel uh, like the feel or whatever what did i see um so uh, we got a low of about negative seven negative nine coming tonight mm-hmm. but it feels like negative like you're saying 33 or something mm-hmm. like that. Oh, no. and that just, yeah. and it's the wind it and it's going to be windy yeah uh, you can almost guarantee that and i think i Heard or saw or read whatever in the uh, farmer's almanac. This is going to be one of the windiest years mm-hmm. uh, oh, on record for quite a while. There's probably so. a lot of people listening there laughing at us because you see stuff like up in Montana or whatever. It's like oh yeah, negative <laughs> fifty, <True>. negative yeah. <laughs> sixty. They're like you yeah. wusses. Well, then you can go the other way and probably got people laughing at us in Hawaii saying like, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. low was eighty three. Yeah. I'm on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but this is one of the reasons I do, I really do enjoy where I live and I always have, because I feel like in Nebraska, you get it all. Hot summers, cold winters, here it is snowing on Christmas. Like, I like that. I like the seasons. There's no doubt that the changes are refreshing, mm-hmm. but the um, the cold, man, it like... Oh, it sucks. Yeah, and it and it's <laughs> it's only refreshing for a very short period of time. It makes you appreciate those warm summer days even more. It sure more. does. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Very Every true. time I hear someone bitching about, oh, it's so hot, oh, blah, 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 I'm just like. <laughs> you just want to slap them. Yeah, right. In the back of my mind, I'm like, I will take this. So you would right? rather be hot than cold oh, any day. I mean, I, I would have guessed you would say yeah. that because you're always cold. Andy, hot or cold? Uh, I would go hot. I, okay. I know, would too. Yeah. But I, some mm-hmm. people 
our daughter would pick cold. A lot of people are like that. They'd yeah. rather wear layers, layers and bundle up and this and that. Yeah. And a lot of people talk about campfires in the fall. I'm like, piss on that. That's cold. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, don't, I like campfires, you know, at night in the summer, spring, and maybe early fall. But right. I don't. I don't need to be out there, you know, freezing my butt off. No doubt. So. Speaking of fires, though, we actually have a lot of trees that we need to burn. A lot of trees to burn. Yeah, that are down, and we keep saying we need to do it in the winter when it's cold, so then we won't. Oh, you're talking a about a bunch fire. of like brush and stuff. Yeah. We've got. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, big yeah. old bonfire. Speaking of that, we do need to do that. Now's the time. Now we got an inch or two of snow yeah. on the ground. That's the time to do it. For sure. Yep. So you would come out for that. Yeah, that'd be fun. As long as it's a big, warm fire. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you're in your bibs. And then yeah. You're fine. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so that one's okay. I did. Uh, I'll go with that, but I had a tragedy uh, actually on my way over here. Oh, mm-hmm. no. Uh, right before I you left. You didn't get into an accident, did you? No, no, nothing like that. Okay. Um, but I guess you could call it an accident. I, I left my light beer too close to the garage door, so they froze mm. overnight. <gasps> and I didn't. I didn't. I was just wishful thinking, thinking, okay, it didn't freeze. It didn't freeze. So I popped the top and it was fine for the first drink, but then it started slushing and then it started gushing yeah. out. I'm like, what am I doing yeah. here? <laughs> That's what Pretty happens. Pretty ridiculous. Yeah. So they didn't like burst open. No, no. Okay. But you can save them. As I was trying to, you know, enjoy one. Yeah. Uh, it just kept like, you know, expanding and pouring out. I always of the wondered <laughs> what the physics were of that. It's uh, like, it's not frozen until you. Pop right. the top, and right. then everything gets slushy, like, immediately. I know. We should dive into that, because, yeah, I even, like, was holding it and feeling it. I could tell it lost a little pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you think it's, like, one of those spray cans, you know, that spray out air, and they're mm. fine, and then you keep spraying, and the whole can gets so cold? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, and it's like, the and same, then yep, and the can like, gets colder yes, and, and you can't gets even frost it. around it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know either, but that's, uh, it was disappointing. So for you uh, <laughs> yeah, big so. time beer drinkers, does that actually change the taste of the beer? Oh, I'm not that good at it. I, guess. I mean, I think it just makes it weird because mm-hmm. it's like the oh, that does. afterwards, yes, that you think does. they taste different? The slush is the water, right? The water in and the, the beer. Al- the yeah. alcohol is distilled, you know, yeah. basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but all my good beers, and that's what I should have did. I should have just got a good beer, like one of my IPAs, because that wasn't frozen that wouldn't have been frozen that wouldn't freeze no. higher alcohol or something no coors light bush light bud light those freeze easy uh, but your ipas and your local craft beers like you know what i like to enjoy here mm-hmm. and there those won't freeze on you oh way okay. more alcohol in there All i right. heard somebody joking the other day about that craft beers and whatever and that's um it's starting to gain a lot of traction so you're a craft beer guy mm-hmm. so you must uh shoot a six five creed more yes <laughs> I have one. Do you but, have a man bun also? I, <laughs> I've been thinking about he it. He could grow it out. <laughs> He's got enough hair to grow out. Uh, I could try. No, I, I actually really got to keep the sides shaved up now. Why? I, I, oh, for being on air. Yeah. And, you know, I got to wear a headset like this, um, you know, when I call football and basketball games. And it just if I grow my hair out and I wear, you know, these headphones, then I got to go down and do a you know, halftime or post-game interview, it just looks weird. Mm-hmm. You, know, you your think? Hair. I think it does. Okay, so you think so. Yeah. But it, what about, is your boss saying it does? Is it mandated? Oh, I don't think he cares at all. What okay. What he tried to mandate uh, years ago was none of this, no, no scruff, no facial fa- uh, hair. That's the same with this guy, but that's for the fire station. So there is legit, with the mask, mm-hmm. you know, it can't. Yeah. It What, doesn't suction right? But on air... They tried to say. Right. They didn't think it looked professional enough. And it was basically a little uprising with all the employees, like guys that never did have facial hair to be, you know, beforehand. They're like, you can't tell me how to wear my face. (laughs) So they started growing it. (laughs) Yeah. That's kind of what it felt like. Um, But I, I don't know. At the time I had a a full blown beard going on. I'm like, no, you know. I don't think I've seen you with facial hair. I'm I'm in my thirties. I, you don't need to tell me if I can or cannot. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't I know on the other side of that, um, there's a difference between maintaining your beard or whatever you want to do and keeping it clean, you know, clean shave and looking clean. Um, but if you're not upkept and you look kind of straggly, I get that. I yeah. understand that. But as far as like just drawing a hard line, like no facial hair, 
I mean, what is this? The Academy? You, yeah. You know, yeah. Give me a break. Um, yeah, for sure. And to, to rewind it a little bit in full disclosure, I own a six, five Creedmoor. So nice. Oh, did you yeah. want us to ask you? No, I don't have a man bun. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you won't be able to grow one. If I had a man Ooh. bun. a 6'5". I do have a 6'5". Yeah. It would be like my so man bun. So what am I then? I, a girl bun? No? Well, I mean, I help. guess that's mm. what they're saying is that it's basically a girly man round. Girly man. Mm-hmm. Oh. That, that is kind of a running joke with the 6'5". Mm-hmm. It's kind of a Who started gun. that? I'm, like, my theory, what the heck? My theory is that the 308 guys started it. Okay. Why? That's a, that's a good... Because they're like... The 308 has been around forever, and the 6.5 is kind of like mm-hmm. stepping on its toes. Yep. And I think the 308 guys are like, no, I've got yeah. I've got all this money and time and effort and commitment into this round. Mm-hmm. No, that round's not going to be better than yeah. mine. You must be. You must have a man bun. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it, it, it really is history repeating itself. Uh-huh. Um, and we're getting down to a caliber, you know, gun caliber discussion here, and it's kind of fun though. But uh, it was the same thing when the 270 got legs. Mm-hmm. The 30 out six people were like, "What you know?" I mean, it was a, it what it was dimed at the time. Uh, that's just a 30 out six for women. Yeah, <laughs> so see, I, there you go. Jeez. There you go. <laughs> so, and I remember our, our our old town cop. That's exactly what he said in his gun shop. You know, he was giving us a bad time when my buddies had a two <laughs> brand new 270. You know, mm-hmm. taking it into the shop to get it sighted in and have it uh, scope mounted, and he's just giving him hell. You know, <laughs> making fun of him in front of us. It was pretty good. Well, yeah. and nowadays it's not like you can say, "Oh, that's that's a girl gun." So they this is throw the man bun on there. And that's, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just a different way. I will say, and then we'll get into it, but I, there's one thing I'm very, very, uh, I would say proud or happy of. Uh, so this country music station is B103. It's down in Nebraska City, and it's straight country, right? A lot of country music, new, old, everything in between. So like Garth Brooks or Jason Aldean mm-hmm. and all that. Mm-hmm. Remember a couple of years ago when Baby It's Cold Outside, the Christmas song, got canceled? Do you guys remember Mm-mm. this? But... Briefly, but I can't remember what that was about. Okay, so uh, there's a line in there where he's offering her a drink. That's right. And, yes, and he's saying, "Hey, you made it. May have had too much, and maybe you should, you know, come to my place. Yeah, or let something me, like that. Yeah, it's just stay. You know, yes. maybe it's cold outside. Just stay here. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and so that got spun by the woke culture that um, date rape type of deal. Yes, you know all that all that jazz, and so. It didn't officially get canceled, but a lot of radio stations across the nation just didn't want to deal with that, that, you know, mm-hmm. that loud mm-hmm. segment barking at them. So they just cut it. They just stopped playing that song. Um, and here's something that's funny. At that time, back in 2020, when that was happening, guess what was the number one song on the billboard, the pop charts for two months? Why this was going on? <laughs> just take imagine. a wild guess. 2020. I don't know. Some. I wasn't really in the pop scene in 2020, so I'm not sure. <laughs> so you might not know this song. <laughs> no. WAP, Wet Ass Pussy. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you should see, you should hear the lyrics on that, it's, bad boy. Yes. I, I know what song. So that's, about. that's the number one pop that song. That was the number one yeah. song. And since Baby It's Cold Outside was offensive, it was what was getting canceled while that was number one. Wow. Nice. How ridiculous. But and then yeah. this station, you heard them playing it. They There's a there's a remake with some uh, uh, modern day artists. So they took that part out? Uh, no, no, no. It's it's there. Okay. It's okay. there. And I, I love it. I, I, I love that we're playing that song. Yeah. Like just saying straight up, hell with it. You know, right. <laughs> we're gonna. I mean, it makes me want to sing it, but I can't yeah. sing. So, uh, Baby, it's but, cold <laughs> but WAP was probably like it was artistic. Oh, it was yeah. just an artistic yeah. expression. I don't cook. I don't clean. I am wet ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's oh, one of the. Isn't that the? I think yes. <laughs> that's the chorus. I don't cook. I don't clean. I am wet ass pussy. I bet that's probably <laughs> one of the lyrics. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. you have heard that song. I have not it, heard that song. It's, it's not like you played it, but I'm sure it was on. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even trying to be like Mr. Cool Guy. I've never heard that song. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll pull it up later for you. We'll, 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 we'll do the outro. To Let's do our outro music. <laughs> yeah. Wop. Um, but on that note, with it being the Christmas holiday season here, I wanted to just... Uh, go around the table here and let's 
go over a couple things. Just pull something out of your hat, Morgan. What has made you merry this season? I think within the last week, two weeks, last couple of days. What has made you happy? What has made you merry? Wow. On the spot. Yeah. Come on. Let's have fun with this. I always enjoy family coming back, meaning we have a child that goes mm-hmm. to college. Mm-hmm. She gets to come back. So breaks are nice. Yeah. It's busy for work. So that's mm-hmm. always a little bit crazy. But we at least take Christmas Eve, Christmas off. Yeah. And I'm I'm appreciate. I just really appreciate being together. Now, yeah. an extended family, too. That's fun over yeah. the holidays. But that makes me happy until like I'm annoyed. Yeah. There's a there's a. <laughs> No, no, Does that make there's sense? A, no. There's a there's a yeah. There's a window there. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. No, no I'm kidding. No, no it's that's good. fantastic. No, so your your oldest daughter's back yeah. in town. And so and then she's around. And not even just that. I think I think of, and made that maybe this sounds bad, but all the sports start settling down. Yeah. Like yep. we all take a break. Right. Oh my gosh, what's it like to have mm-hmm. everyone home? Yeah. Again, you love it till you're like everyone's at each other. But mm-hmm. it's nice break from running. Yeah. From just the hustle and bustle, so I I'm happy for that. You know, and and that reminds me of a, you know, I'm I'm always listening to and I'm part of the, a lot of sports talk radio shows, and one guy made the observation uh, in July that it was the first weekend all summer that all the kids on the whole block were out riding their bikes, playing playing soccer and, and field hockey in the street, and he goes, you know why that is. Because this is that window of time where there's not baseball mm-hmm. and and fall football, foot, hasn't, fall started. football hasn't started yet. Yep. And there's no club basketball, you know, garbage going it's on. It's so true. And it was just and he just took a moment to appreciate, just watch all the kids play in the in the, you know, it, I think it's great when kids can just be kids. Yeah. And maybe we should try to make it a thing where we do that a little bit more. I agree. But, yeah. No, that's that's fantastic. Yeah, and those so are that's two. Me. That's two really good ones, and that's something that comes around because of the because of Christmas. You get Christmas break. Yeah. So Ben, yeah. what's yours? Yeah. Hmm. Did I? I didn't take yours. I was trying to think of something while you were there and while you were going through that, and I guess that's um, maybe part of the point here is to maybe spend a little bit more time to think about some of those things. Yeah. Because. I, I like I was thinking through it and all the stuff that we've been doing like the last few weeks, and I don't think that there's been a whole lot of anything that I've like taken the time to be like, this is great right now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, because um, the first thing that comes to mind for me is we're working our butts off because mm-hmm. our this is our busy time of year. Yep. So we're trying to get everything shipped. Um, you know, we're trying to get as much stuff out as we can, make sure people are happy for the holidays, get mm-hmm. their Christmas gifts, those kinds of things. So what has brought me any kind of joy is to see us get that done, yeah. you know, get the job yeah. done, get the stuff out the door, you know, to, to, to make sure that someone else is going to be satisfied. Right. So that's been um, <laughs> probably most of the joy for me over the last couple of weeks. But there's been a lot of people in, in what I do here, I do spend a lot of time dealing directly with the customers, mm-hmm. you know, whether it be the brands that are on our website or the people who are buying directly from us every day. And I get a lot of interaction with people who are like super understanding, yeah, super thankful, mm-hmm. super happy that they can even get something from us. Um, you know, we, we send them a response and they're like, Oh my God, I can't believe that. Talk to a real person. Yeah, that yeah. you you replied to me so quick, and I get to talk to a real person. You're like, I mean, that kind of stuff, you know, warms you up a little bit. It's a little more, yeah. you know, makes it a little more enjoyable. You know, I was actually thinking about you guys the last couple of days, where it is your busy time, and you guys are just burning the candle from both ends. Mm-hmm. But I thought, man, that's got to be pretty gosh darn fulfilling. Like a really cool feeling that everything you guys are boxing up and shipping out, you know, you're making somebody else's Christmas. Yes, you know, and yeah. I, I just got to think you guys got to sleep good at night because you're tired from working your tails off, but you're also, you're not just fulfilling orders. You're kind of fulfilling, you know, gifts and, and things like that. And to have that be part of your, your daily grind, I, I just think not, not everyone thinks about it that way. And I, so I'm glad to hear that from you, Ben, that you have kind of put that into perspective. Well, I think that's a good point that you're making there too. I mean, that can probably apply to just about anything mm-hmm. is... Uh, you know what you're doing. There's, there, you're doing something good. There's something good coming out of what you're doing. Yeah. But 
we, you know, we'll find ourselves, um, you know, frustrated at the end of the day because of this or that or whatever, this mm-hmm. didn't go well, that didn't go well, this person's bitching, you know, the, <laughs> yeah. this, this, this supplier screwed up, you know, <laughs> right. whatever. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's yeah. all, that's always going to be there, but you know, to your point, like what about all those really good things that, yeah. that you're getting the privilege to yeah. participate in? Exactly. It's a privilege, right? To mm-hmm. serve, to, to be able to fill that order, to take that order and, and then complete it. Like you said, get it out the door in time, you know, for, for folks to enjoy it. Yeah, I, for sure. I think there's a lot of, a lot of different things coming together and they're all kind of feel good Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. yeah it takes a lot of work though you don't get to feel that good if you're not going to put in a little bit of the the work to achieve that very true yeah what about you though andy uh there's nothing in my life nothing that that. makes you (laughs) marry no No, this is just i'm the grinch he's my favorite the grinch he's my favorite dr seuss character of all time is probably probably my favorite cartoon it is (laughs) a good one (laughs) the christmas it is a good one i even like the the two remakes uh, Jim yeah, Carrey. Yeah. I thought he was fantastic. Jim great. Yeah. And then there was one that came out not, it was a couple of years ago. It was a, like a CGI animation. Oh, remake. okay. Yeah. But I've I seen thought, that. I thought that was pretty good yeah. too. No, but. There's got to be something. Uh, you know, um, yeah, the, it kind of is right along the lines with, with what, uh, with what you were talking about, about people coming together. But, um, had a basketball game locally here, uh, about an hour south, and one of my best friends from college. He was a quarterback for the football team. We we hung out all the time. I ran down to Houston. That's he was from there, um, and then he moved to Auburn. Had a lot of family in Auburn. So whenever I do an Auburn game, I always text him. And mm-hmm. I hadn't talked to him in a couple of years. He lives in Las Vegas now. Yeah, and I haven't seen him since Ashley and I went to Las Vegas, and that was before kids. Okay, so it's been a few. <laughs> it's been yeah. a few years. And I shot him a text like, hey, I'm about to do the Auburn Bulldogs, you know, and your cousin's a, a coach and all this other stuff. And he goes, hey, I'm, I'm actually touching down in Omaha. Stop. I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> so uh, we set it all up and we met at uh, Ameristar, the casino over there, um, and just had a really fun evening Yay. Sunday night. So I got to see Toby uh, and a couple other, we had a couple other guys that were uh, football teammates of ours. They also came out and met us out there. And okay. It was just a trip down memory lane. You know, it reminds you that you have some pretty good people in your corner. Yeah. You know, if Even push if comes to shove. years have passed, yeah, you it, can pick up where you left off type didn't, of thing? Didn't, okay. didn't matter. You know, it was, it was like we just saw each other the day before. Good. You know, and yeah, there's not a lot of people like that in your life when you really think about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me anyway, I don't, mm-hmm. which I, I've taken these tests and all this other stuff. I, I have a personality where. I can have a lot of friends, but I can't have like really deep friends. Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. I don't know it called a flaw or whatever, but Toby's definitely one of those dudes where we just hit it off. We mm-hmm. get each other and um yeah, we haven't we haven't talked in like four, four years. <laughs> you know, and I guess you could look at that as uh like, well, you must have beef or you must not like each other, you know. But that's not the case at all. No. Yeah. We're yeah. just good. We're it, just good. Yeah. You know? I read something yesterday and it was just this, someone had posted something about, yeah, you know, you haven't talked to your friend in forever or you didn't call them to check up on them or, you know, all Mm -hmm. these little bullet points. And it's like, it's called life, you know, I mean, you can, Mm -hmm. and it can be years that have passed and you can pick up or you can hold a grudge, you know, so there doesn't have to be beef, like you said. So that's good. uh, And it just, what made me think of that was my sister-in-law shot me a text message a couple weeks ago and then like three minutes later shot me another text and I didn't have my phone on me and I was like working, yeah, you know? So I just don't have my <laughs> mm. phone on me when I'm yeah. working uh, or driving. And uh, once everyone got to the house and we're all together, uh, I go, oh, hey, I, I saw you shot me a couple of texts. She goes, yeah, I sent that to you like a half hour ago and then I sent you another <laughs> one like 25 minutes ago <laughs> and I just assumed we had beef. <laughs> like, oh my God. What? <laughs> I'm like, no, I, I just... Didn't, you know, I couldn't answer it at the time. And, you know, by the time I could, you were here. So like, but like, that's the mentality a lot of people totally. have. You know, she was joking. Don't get yes. me wrong. But still, it's like, that's the mindset a lot of folks have. Like, yeah. oh, I guess we haven't talked in a week. I guess we're through. And it's easy to do. So like, <laughs> I mean, I, I've done that too. But mm-hmm. you really have to think people have lives and they're busy. They're not just trying to be jerky. Yeah. Um, so throw some grace. But I'm yeah. glad you got to connect with their friend. That's sweet. Yeah, it was, That's it, was cool. it was really fun. It was long overdue, and 
Uh, another thing that has transpired or happened since that time we were last out in Las Vegas, uh, they have an NFL football team now. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So we're putting plans in to when either my team or Ashley's team plays the Raiders next, we're going to fly out there and try and catch a game with yeah. them. Yeah. What's your team? I like the Chicago Bears because oh, that's right. you told so. I'm a glutton for punishment, yep. you know, and abuse. So. Wait, and <laughs> Ashley likes who? The Buffalo Bills. Oh, okay. Now, they were in the doghouse for a long time. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they've been good this year, right? Well, they're really good. Yeah. They're probably the best. They're probably going to go to the Super Bowl. I think that's what Joel said a while ago. Uh, it's either – the AFC, their side is – is has a lot of good teams. Um, but they're right at the front. They're at the front of the pack. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's – that was really fun for me. And then I got a kind of like you guys, but on a little bit of a different level, uh, as far as like a profession or, you know, what I like to do. Um, in 2017, my partner and I launched a YouTube channel for our hunting show. Okay. And we've been religiously putting videos out there, short videos, long videos, full episodes. And it has just kind of sputtered. You know, we'll pick up subscribers and views just here and there, you know, nothing big. And something just clicked this last week with our last episode. Uh huh. And we got over a thousand subscribers now. And that's like a huge threshold. Uh, huge. For, that's for, for chasing the dream. Yeah. For right? chasing the dream. And we have over 4,000 hours. So that means we can be monetized. Like we can oh, actually, good. and that was a big thing to Garrett. Like okay. I'm, I'm also very, very happy for Garrett. Because he's put in this crazy effort, and we've stuck to it since 2017 till today. It didn't happen till earlier today, actually, when we crossed that threshold. Um, that's so good. Yeah, that's and, what so many people don't realize is like you, you know, it, you have to stick with that stuff. Yeah, you know, I mean, you've been doing it, it like time. you said since 2017, mm-hmm. and and it's not like you guys were just putting out like junky stuff here and there right i mean this is all stuff that was going to air on the cable network yeah yeah Yeah. you guys are putting on Mm full-on nice videos and episodes and Mm -hmm. with sponsors you know that that like are just kind of helping you barely get by you know it's not like they're sponsors that are making you rich right (laughs) Uh, that's for sure and just sticking with it you know and having that Mm -hmm. um that gumption to just be like we're just going to keep doing it man eventually Mm -hmm. something's going to happen and and it did get, you know, tough at times. You're like, man, why are we putting in all this yeah. effort? Why are we yep. doing all this? And, you know, it's uh, it's not like we weren't like a lot of YouTube channels where it was you just picked up a phone and, you know, kind of filmed yourself and mm-hmm. this and that. Like ours were, like you said, packaged to be a half an hour on the spot, you know, with, with the commercial breaks and everything else built into it. So an awful lot more went into most of our videos than went into a lot of other videos out there. Mm-hmm. And a lot of those other videos out there, we would watch and it'd be all shaky, you know, yeah. uh, not a, the audio was way off. You could hear wind over them talking and that'd have like 70,000 views to our 200 views of a professionally mm-hmm. done, you know, so it would get disheartening and tough. Yeah. Um, but like you said, Ben, we just stuck through it, stuck it out. And uh, we, now we just kind of achieved hopefully the start now, yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yep. Once a door opens, it's like, well, now this is the starting point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it's like a new starting point for us, but it's a really good one. Yeah. Um, and and yes, I'm, I'm happy for me, but I'm really, I really feel good for Garrett because that was his number one goal kind of when this thing started was he wanted us to be big on YouTube mm-hmm. and, and social media sites like that. Uh, I've seen so much of that and it, it translates to all, all things that you want to try to do and be successful with. Mm-hmm. Like it's so easy to accept, to expect that kind of overnight satisfaction. Right. Especially with everything that we have, like instant gratification with our phones and looking something up online and mm-hmm. whatever, all these kinds of things. It trains people like, yeah, I should be able to get what I want right when I want it now. But the truth is, is that you got to put that grind in mm-hmm. and it, again, it doesn't matter if you're building a business, if you're trying to accomplish whatever goal that you have, yeah. um, and and I and I'm glad that it's that way because it weeds out the uh, the folks who just don't actually really deserve it. Right. Do you True. know what I mean? Yeah. True. You know, with the the thing I do with my brother, the the sports betting mm-hmm. show, yeah. like, it, and we've been able to climb some milestones with that too, and that's really exciting. I think there's more good things uh, to come. 
Um, but a lot of the shows that I was studying and kind of measuring up and like, okay, how do they do it? What, what, how long are their segments and commercial breaks and things of that nature? A lot of them weren't on the air anymore. Are they just stopped dropping? Oh, podcasts? really? Yeah. So I'm okay. like, okay, so my competition's already folded it up. Like a lot of them, you know? Yeah. And I think that's because of what you're saying, Ben, it's like, oh, well, we tried it for a month or two weeks and we're, we're not big time. So yeah, that took a lot of work. Let's box it up and quit. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, what was that, that you said something about country stars and normally they're in Nashville for how long? Just oh, grinding yeah, just it out. Was it like nine, 10 years? I mean, that's, yeah. that's a long freaking time. I mean, think about that. And then finally you make yeah. it and how many people are going to quit in between. And this is like kind of five. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, we didn't, talking to Eric Brigitte, right? Mm-hmm. And he was saying, well, they're telling me that it's going to take 10 years in Nashville mm-hmm. before a door opens. And I can see that, but it's also like... Dang, that's yeah. 10 years. Well, and just think of all the hot little country stars out there. Yeah. Like, a lot of them are in their 20s, not their 30s or 40s. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So, like, yeah. there's a... <laughs> I don't know. You, there's some that... Yeah, there's definitely. some, there's there, some yeah. that you know, obviously make it before that. Yeah. But... What I think a lot of us forget when we're talking about music, too, is I heard an interview. I can't remember with who. And, you know, they're like, oh, their new song. And maybe it was Lainey Wilson. And she was like, Mm -hmm. I've been playing that song for 10 years. Yep. You know, like it just finally hit the radio. Exactly. I wrote that 10 years ago and was playing it in bars when there was one person in there. Yeah. So, I mean... I don't know. It's you can just see crazy. It. No, yeah. it's going to take time. It's yeah. going to take a lot of effort, especially in something like that where there's so much competition yeah. now. Yeah. You know, um, but I don't know if you have to wait for 10 years, you Gosh. know, to get a hit. Seems crazy. Uh, Andy, you have some stuff that made you marry. That's cool. Hmm? I said, you have some stuff that I made did. you marry. I did. I did. Yeah. And it just straight up came out of the blue. And like, it's just odd how things lined up like, I'm in our own stomping grounds, drove past our old college, Peru State College. So I was already kind of thinking about, you know, the good old days and uh-huh. playing football. And then I just shot him a text out of blue. And he's like, hey, I'm actually in town. What? So cool. So, <laughs> so cool. It was. It was, it was really fun. And, and now we got plans to, you know, catch up with them again. Yeah. You know, good. maybe in about a year or so. Try and get a trip out there. Exciting. So, yeah. Cool. It, it is. It is. But I just thought, you know, being the holidays – and you see a lot of stuff on mainstream media and not very much of it's positive. So I thought, let's, let's take a minute and think about some things that, that are positive. Yeah, man, that for are sure. Good, you know? Yeah. It's a time of year. Yeah. Wish everybody a happy Christmas from Farm Focus, Chasing the Dream. Yeah. You know? The Common the Folk common folk. The Common Folk. I think it's been pretty cool, the people we've had on this show. And they would all agree, like, yeah, we're Common Folk. And it's like, no, you're not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I follow Corey Jones, our That's, very first episode. Yeah. That dude is amazing. He the is. stuff that he's doing and the quality of work he's coming out with. Mm-hmm. And that's what, kind of part of the whole idea behind this is that, like, we're common folk. We mm-hmm. talk to common folk. You know, we got common ideas, these kinds of mm-hmm. things. Um, but when you dig in and you really start realizing, it's like, yeah, these are common people. And there's a lot of common people that do really good cool things yeah you know but mm-hmm. work really freaking hard yeah 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 i mean you get like you get these people who have um for whatever reason get some major traction and become like national celebrities and whatever and i think uh, with a lot of them it kind of changes them but um cornhole champion yeah she was on she was amazing yeah yeah well, Jackie. and she's yeah. not she's not an example of one that like that didn't change her like she's, no she that did not change herself. her but my, yeah. my point Sorry. is that there's a lot of people doing a lot of really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And those are the people that we talk to and they are just regular people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, and as far as your original question, you know, that, that just kind of reminds me when I think about it, like this with what we've been doing here, we're 40 something episodes in, I think. Yep. I think it's super cool and something that I'm happy about, you know, in this holiday season that people are, just taking some time to, yeah. to listen and connect and feel like they're Tune a part in. of it. Enjoy yeah. it. I think it's cool that we're putting something out that, that people like. You yeah. Know? And that, yeah, people can kind of rally around and, and feel good about, mm-hmm. and, and we get to be part of that. Yeah. For you sure. know, and, and real quick before I forget Jackie. Yeah. 
She's ranked number one in the world right now. Really? Shut up. She shot me a text message a couple of weeks ago. and said, I, I've done it. I, I'm the number one ranked player in the world. How freaking awesome is that? I know. I know. <laughs> she was mind blowing. We even had a friend that was like, wow, I, you know, I don't listen to a ton of episodes, but I listened to that one and yeah. she was awesome. I'm like, yeah, it's a great episode. She's she, she a baller. All these things going on yeah. and all these obstacles that are still in front of her. Yeah. She doesn't care. Nope. She's just going to get it done. Yeah. Episode yeah. Uh, 38. That was just a few back. Yeah. She, That's yeah, she's, crazy. She's super Good interesting. For her. Yeah. So. Okay. So much to be grateful for. Yeah. Because honestly, when did we start this podcast? Well, a, a long time ago. Uh, Late February, maybe. Okay. Yeah. You know? That's exactly right. Episode yeah. one was mid February. Okay. So almost a year. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this has been something that I never thought I would be doing. And I'm really grateful for it. It's been fun to meet a ton of people and mm-hmm. sit here with a mic in front of my face. I don't know. Well, and it you really do have to dive into it and think of your why when you're speaking it out, mm-hmm. when you're putting it out there. And uh, Corey Jones actually put out a post, I believe, on Twitter or Facebook. I just caught it. And he straight up said, me answering those questions and, and having to talk through them made me put a different perspective on it. Yeah. You know, even the, right. as to what you can yeah. think of it in your head mm-hmm. or, you know, you know, do what you like to do, but until you actually sit down and answer to someone, the why, why are you doing that? You yeah. know, why'd you get away mm-hmm. from, you know, you had a good gig, you had your own company, you know, driving, hauling gravel, mm-hmm. you had your own truck. Why'd you give that up? Yeah. You know? And then he had to sit there and answer and kind of go through it. Right. So I guess that's almost even better than, I mean, they always say, write down your goals and speak them or, you know, mm-hmm. but saying it out yeah. loud yeah. like he did and so many people and we've been asking good questions, I guess. Um, but it's also, yeah, it's just made me open my eyes to a lot of other things too. So grateful for you guys too. Oh, well, thank you, Morgan. It's been fun. <laughs> it really has it been. It has. And Ben, this was your idea and. He invited me on board, and I'm like, I don't know, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was a good choice. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it, he's been he's been, been fun. wanting this for a while. It was just me dragging my feet, not me because I thought I wasn't even going to be the one doing it, <laughs> but uh, telling him not to do it. So, all right. So with uh, in in on that topic on the podcast topic, mm-hmm. we definitely need. With, with the idea in mind of sticking with it, grinding it out, getting the things done, which we're going to do. Uh-huh. But we need a little bit of help. Okay. And we need folks to go and do the reviews. Hit If you if you listen on Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. go on there, do a review. If you listen on Spotify, go on there. I, I think you can put a review on Spotify, but I know you can put the, the stars. I, I, is yeah, there? you can do a comment or whatever. Yeah. Hit yeah. the stars. Do those things. Yep. We need those to help us get some traction. Yep. Um, that's, that's all we ask. You know, it, and it's more than just that. It, it exponentially grows, you mm-hmm. know. So if you do like what we have going on here, uh, giving us any type of review, uh, that makes Spotify, Apple, Google, whoever, take notice and, and play it more. But for me, it gives us a chance to go through those and actually see what people are thinking. Yep, absolutely. You know, I bet there's I bet there's 100 plus people just within a 50 mile radius that we would love to have on the show mm-hmm. oh, that we'd love to interview. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. We've already found that out, you know, just pulling people from here, there, whatever. Everybody has a story, like you said, Ben. Um, so that would be another thing, like tell us a common folk, tell us a common person, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. that you'd like yeah. us to Make interview. suggestions, yeah. I would love it, yep. you know. That would be and Help us out on that front. And as always, the offer still stands. If you go on there, if you do the review, if you do the stars, whatever, Email me directly, Ben at farmfocused, F O C U S E D dot com. And you got a shirt or a hat coming, whatever you'd like. Um, and that's a great spot to send us any any uh, guest suggestions or whatever as well. That would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Perfect. So, yeah. All righty. So, should we sign off? Cool. Saying, yeah, I think yeah. that's it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Happy yeah. New Year. Go shovel the snow. <laughs> yep. All it's right. that time. Peace. Yep. All right. See you. <laughs>